Hey guys, Liar here, and today I got a different type of video for you guys. I usually don't upload lore or theory discussion videos. Stop the cap! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Those don't count. Now, this is probably going to contain spoilers somewhere, so here's a quick warning for those who want to play the game blind. Anyway, the reason for this video came from when I was going through all my Genshin gameplay and footage, and I rewatched the fight between the Adeptus and the Hydro three headed blue eyes white dragon thing, and I noticed something interesting during the fight. Now during the battle we fight the Fatui and we are given three different power-ups from three different Adepti. The first one being from Ganyu, who is Bay. With the blood of the Chilean, I guard you against evil. Cast your fear of injury by the wayside and fight with all your might. I too did this during the Archon War. Huh. So this is what Ganyu's like in a fight. The second one is from Zhao. My name means swiftness. Take my power and run as I do. I'm fast as fuck, boy! And the third one is supposedly from Madame Pink, who isn't a playable character, or at least not yet. Child, you are strong in body and spirit. Perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. Now, if you look at the order of the character event banners, you'll notice that the order is Ganyu, with Zhao being confirmed for the next banner. And you can kind of see where I'm going with this. I think the banner after Zhao will contain Madame Ping and will reveal what her real form looks like because as we all know, she isn't who she appears to be. Now, you're probably thinking, there's no way that's possible because the next banner is already confirmed to be Kaching. I know that and that also further helps my theory. If you guys remember, Kaching was also at the battle. And since we know the theme of update 1.3 is going to be based in Liyue, I've started speculating who the characters would be during the Kaching banner. Of course we have Kuching, I keep saying the name wrong by the way, but I personally think that the other three characters are going to be related to the actual battle as well. We also have, sorry for saying this wrong, but Nin Guang, who hasn't been in the banner for a while, so I think she could definitely be there. But then we have Madame Pink, who could be a 4 star rather than a 5 star. During the Child and Zhong Li banners, we also got two new 4 star characters, Diana and Zing Yan, or at least I think that's how you pronounce it. Since we are only getting one new 5 star character for the next update, Maybe this means that we're getting more 4 star characters instead. So with this banner, I think there's a high possibility of Man and Pink's true identity being in the banner. Unless, however, Mahoya wants us to fight as an old lady. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't think the fan base would like the character model. You know, they, they typically kind of prefer something more... How do I put this? <laughs> as for Man and Pink's true identity, well, I have pretty much no idea. The only hints we actually could use are from that weird teapot story mission or the Jade Chamber battle which she gives us a red type of boost. But I really don't think those are sufficient enough to make assumptions on. At first I was thinking she could be Rosario due to the color of the boost, but I don't even think that would be possible since Rosario is from Mondstadt and Madame Pink is from Liyue. And as for the last character, it could really be anyone to be honest. Hopefully Beto, because why not? But we're just gonna have to wait and see who actually is on the banner, and it's gonna be a while till we find out. Let me know what you guys think because this could already be proven and I could be completely wrong about this. I don't expect to do this type of video often, probably never again, but you never know. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.